This is Fish Fanatic 100 with another Petco haul. It is for um, September 30th, I think. Yeah, September 30th. So let me show you what I got. I also got another thing a week before that I'm going to show you. So in this haul, I spent... I spent thirty dollars, not including the this, which was eight dollars. Oh yeah, this was September twenty ninth. So I got a new collar. This is this is by Wagitude and it's a size medium. Um, I got this for my dog because he needed a new collar. He's wearing this collar. It was just a brown collar. And so th this is his old one. And it's pretty much fallen apart. It's, he's had it for like a few years. So I, um, this was originally $13 and I got it for a dollar. So always look in the clearance bin because you'll find a lot of stuff there. Um, next I got this um, reversible terrarium carpet. This is for my lizard, my leopard gecko. We, uh, she needed this to clean her cage. I think this was $10. Next, I got this reusable shopping bag. It's um, got like goldfish all over it. It was two dollars. That's the front and the back. Let me undo it. I thought this would be good, so if so, I don't always get the bags. I usually do reuse them though to clean cages and stuff. But I thought that this was nice and it was only two dollars. So this is the back. It's just got goldfish all over it. And this is the front. And it's a nice size bag. Next, I just got another bag of dog food. My dog eats the small and toy breed. He's uh, like a smallish dog. He's around. He's a mix of a Shih Tzu and Poodle. He is around 20 or 25 pounds, so he's like a small to medium sized dog. But we get the small to toy breed um, light adult dog food. And usually he goes through about two of the four and a half pound bags each month. Lastly, I got this a week ago, but I wanted to film something that I didn't just film one thing. I got this Tetra Easy Balance Plus to try out. Um, it reduces nitrates and... I don't know, I heard about this and I want to try it out. I heard about this online or in a fish magazine and I wanted to just try it out because it says that it uh, makes it so you have to do less water changes and that makes your life a lot easier if you don't have to do that many water changes. So for $8 I decided to try it and I decided that I would just see how it goes. If you guys have any reviews on this, you can tell me. And if it doesn't work, it's only $8, but if it does work, it'll make my life a lot easier. And I'll test the water to see how it's working. So, that's about it um, for my haul. Um... I'm going to do a quick update on some of the gerbils, I guess. 
because that was pretty short. I'm filming a different way today, so tell me if it's working or not. So here I have these three gerbils, and they actually had babies a little while ago. So a few weeks ago, but I haven't posted a video of them yet. So there's three babies, that one, a little, because they, I haven't been able to get, because they're always over them. Um, there's that one, and there's a gray and white one, and they're, basically it looks like, there's one that looks like this one, and one that looks like that one, and then there's that one. They're all under right now. So, and then I just have three females in there. I separated the males from the females. Up here I have four boy gerbils. I have Cookie and then I have three of his sons. And they all look the same, so it's getting harder and harder to tell them apart. And then I separated three of the boys, two over here. And they're just in here. Um, and then I just have a dictionary to keep it so they can't get out because I ran out of these little clips. I did, though, I found a home for two of the gerbils, so that's good. Two of either these ones or these ones. And then let me just show you my other one. Um, these two gerbils are... Um, this one is Whisper, the black and white one. She's really old. She's like two and a half or three. And then this is her daughter, who's older too. Then over here, I separated this one. This was from the second litter from over there. The ones that look like cookies, but she was the only female. So I put this screen in between because I ran out of cages so I put the screen in between. I was thinking of trying to introduce these, but she's really not. She keeps trying to scratch at them and bite at them, so I don't know. But this is the split cage. I got this screen and I cut it to um, to fit in. And then I um, glued down these, um, I forget what they're called. These like metal bars that have the, you can see back there that they have the space in between. And then this, it's nice and separated at the top so they can't get over. So that's how it looks down there. I can do a tutorial on how to do that if you guys want. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.